Hi everyone, we're here in Caldwell, Idaho for the HDT West Coast Rally. Yahoo! Woo, that was a mouthful. Yes. We're here for the week. Uh, a lot of friends uh, making some new ones and revisiting with old ones and seeing what everyone has done with their rigs. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, there's a rig for every person here. So what is an HDT? It's a Class 8 semi-truck meant to haul up to 80,000 pounds. Just like you see on the road hauling semi-trailers such as for Walmart or Amazon Prime or Swift trucking. Well, maybe not quite like these trucks. We're a group of RVers who come from all walks of life, who share a passion for traveling just a little differently. Each truck is unique in some way, and in many, a reflection of the owner's lifestyle. Old and new, each represents a distinct way of seeing America. So why do we attend rallies? We participate for many reasons. It gives us some downtime from our busy travel schedule to see some different sights and enjoy some relaxing activities. And since we full-time with no home base, meaning no stick and brick, it also gives us some time and a place to do some needed chores. So Ryan's getting a bath. Yes. When was the last time Ryan had a bath? Oh man. Two, three months? It's been about three months. About five to eight, that six thousand miles? Yeah, and about an inch of dust. Yeah, <laughs> dirt. Yeah. And 37 days under a tree. Oh man, no kidding. I a very tree dirty tree. The tree was the worst. That took me three hours to clean the roof. Ugh. I mean, it was. Get all that tree litter out from under it. Oh man, yeah, and the solar panels. I mean, it got everywhere. Ugh. Yeah, so that was, uh, yeah, that was definitely the worst, I think. Yeah. But you sure you didn't, wouldn't have rather just gone to a ah, car wash? Oh, sorry. You wouldn't have rather gone to a truck wash? Now, no, hindsight? I don't think so. There's some satisfaction in cleaning your own home. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laying down on the job? <laughs> I am. One of the few jobs that I can be productive while laying down on the job. <laughs> and here's to y'all. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. We get to see old friends as well as make new ones and participate in fun group activities. Fellowship and food is always a good combination. We also learn new facets of this lifestyle through seminars, from solar to new RV concepts, to what essential oils are all about, to understanding YouTube, and to learning the ins and outs of boondocking. <laughs> yeah, that's us presenting. Also, be sure to leave a comment if you're interested in learning more about boondocking in a future video. We all travel in trucks, but the real stars of the show are the smart cars. Wherever a group of us go, it's a smart car parade. Well, let's take a walk around the park and get a closer look at some of these fantastic vehicles. So remember when we were back in Yuma? Oh yeah, the at air the show. the air show? Yep. Yeah? It was hot. It was really hot. It was sunny and it was really hot. Yeah. And we tried to put the clamshell on back of our rig, Voyager. Yeah, and it didn't fit. It was way too big in <laughs> diameter, and we get one side on, it'd plop off. We'd get the other side off, and it'd plop off. It wouldn't stay. Yeah, so that was a big epic fail. Yes, it was a great idea, but... Mm. So after that, we thought, how in the world can we somehow put a cover, a temporary cover, over the back of the truck? Yep. Well, Mark and Diana, they figured out a way so they actually have some uh, supports and they had this tarp built 
and they keep their pickup truck and all their toys in the back of it so really smart idea cool wish we would have had that in yuma yeah but <laughs> it's given me some ideas uh-oh uh-oh alaska alaska yeah when we went up there we were thinking we came back and we thought man how could we get everything on our truck so we could be a little smaller because mm -hmm. alaska there's a lot of places that we couldn't get to because we were kind of big right so we man we spent mm. a long time figuring out how can we get a truck camper on the back of the bed with the smart car with extra storage tanks and everything else <laughs> Man, that's that's a lot right there. Right. And we kind of got the inspiration, too. When we were up there, we went to some small town, and I can't remember the name of it, but they did some really, really creative things with their truck. Well, look who figured it out. Yep. Now, they don't have the smart car on the back there, but how cool is that? Really cool. Yes. Yeah, so definitely something to consider. So when you're full-time, one of the issues is... A garage. Mm -hmm. How do you bring it with you when you have limited space? Yeah. Well, these guys figured it out. And we actually know several couples who have built a hard top garage on the back of their truck to even house their smart car and their garage, their tool shed, and everything else. So, really super creative. And again, this is another example how people have tailored their needs requirements to their lifestyle and they've done a nice mesh of the mm -hmm. two yes no this is not voyager it's almost voyager's twin except for it's a little bit shorter and it has a super super unique bed on it Yep, the Phoenix bed was mm -hmm. uh, first developed years ago mm -hmm. not a lot in uh, production right now uh, but uh, They've got one of the first ones uh, that was actually built for a, a HDT. And for a smart car. So the bed, literally, it comes up and it tilts down and it gently drop, drop, not drops. <laughs> I did it again. It offloads, it offloads the smart, the very smart gently. Car. And what's nice is that you just with the flick of a button, you don't have to get in it. You don't have to hook up the ramps, everything. It's like a little transformer. It all pops out. And, you ride it off and that's it. That's so there's right. no leap of faith from one <laughs> partner to the other. Yeah, and driving on these one foot wide ramps. Exactly. Too. So uh, so this is just a really neat design here and how they can offload their smart car um, or any other vehicle you may have. So once again, an HDT that is very unique. Uh, this gentleman has actually incorporated quite a bit onto his truck and tried to keep the weight off of his trailer. Mm -hmm. So he's got a sliding hitch to make hooking and unhooking easier. Mm -hmm. He's got a generator and batteries uh, on the truck, uh, storage for tools. He's got solar panels up top. It's really quite a bit uh, on an HDT. That's what makes it unique. And he can also put a smart car on the back as well. And in case a smart car is not good enough, you can have a bed built for a four passenger side by side. So this is really neat. We even know people who haul Jeeps and other really long vehicles on the back of the bed of their truck. Yep. A great ad adaptation for what the trucks can handle. Exactly. Now these guys went beyond a garage for the smart car. They just went ahead and extended the whole thing and made actual living quarters. So this is truly an RV. A DIY RV. Yeah, Looks really good. It is, but they've got some cool features in it. It's, it's really cool. So the first couple of rallies we attended before we got the HDT, we were looking for ideas. We talked to a lot of people. A lot of people went with a bed. Well, we modified everything over the years and we finished with our final product here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a two level, split level bed. Uh, doesn't look a whole lot going on on the outside but we've it's got what, a lot of stuff happening. What's under, under the hood that counts? Yeah. So we've got uh, underneath the pin, we've got uh, gray and black tank storage, about 60 gallons. Mm -hmm. And then underneath the deck where the smart car is, uh, we've got 60 gallons of fresh. Want to make sure we don't mix the two. Yeah. But uh, it's uh, hiding underneath the bed. 
and it works out great for us. And we have a 2000 watt Honda generator on board that's that you hardwired. Yep. Yeah, a lot of little things, but it's uh, the main things uh, we've got that really help us out dry camping and uh, living this lifestyle. Oh, yeah. It was a great week at the West Coast HDT Rally. Thank you for watching our videos. We really do appreciate your time and tuning in to our channel. Be sure to click the subscribe button at the lower right corner to be notified of new weekly videos. And best of all, it's free! Thanks again, and see you next week out west. Here at the rally, this is ding ding take two. It's not always about the truck. That's right. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> Shoot, thanks. It's sometimes what you're pulling the truck with, or what the truck is pulling. Yeah. <laughs> what the truck pulls. That's right. What the truck pulls. Do we need to start over? I don't think so. I think this is good. Oh, jeez. So and it's done. their... And their, they, their truck pulls their <laughs> tiny house. What the truck pulls. That's right. Ooh. Oh. Traveling home. Oh. Excuse me. That's right. What the truck pulls. <laughs> That's right. We fly caught in a burning fire, and the sun may tell.